When you're applying to medicine in the UK, probably one of the biggest decisions you have to make is which university you should apply to. So on Instagram, you've been submitting your questions for what you want to know about each university that's gonna help you decide. So what we've done is taken those questions and we're gonna apply them as a standard to every single medical school in the UK to help you decide which one you might want to go for. If you want to see the full series, you can check out this playlist here, which has every single university. But today we're going to speak to Adewale, who is a fourth year medical student at Bristol and ask some of the questions you want to know to help you decide whether it is the right medical school for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Future Doc channel. My name is Adewale and I'm one of the head tutors here at Future Doc and I'm also a Bristol medical student in my fourth year. So I chose Bristol mainly because I'm a London boy and I wanted to leave London but not be too far away. But when I actually looked a bit more into the degree by going on open days and summer schools, I found that it has an integrated approach to medicine. Now, what does that mean? It means that from the very beginning of your starting time in medical school, you're already put onto placements. And you know, my second week of Bristol, for example, I was in GPs, GP placements and GP surgeries. So that really allowed me to keep that motivation going whilst learning all the big scientific topics, you know, the anatomy, the physiology, seeing it applied from an early stage to the clinical setting really kept me going. And I, I really like that integrated approach that Bristol has. Most people will say that Bristol is probably one of the most social medical schools. It goes from straight from the course. The course is very holistic and really prioritises creativity and the humanities aspect of medicine. And that lends itself well to look at the city itself. It has a very bubbly social life. If you are that type of person that likes to go out to clubs, it has a very vibrant nightlife as well. I really like Bristol's art and its history and its architecture in the sense that there was a lot of street graffiti from Banksy. And in terms of you know what the societies there are, the, the medical school has its own society called clinicals where there's loads of different societies so if you're someone that enjoys art and arts and crafts there's a society for you there if you're a big football fan like me there's the the medics football team or the the university football team that you can join so socially there's a lot to do in Bristol and there's there's always something happening in the city So for domestic students, it's the standard £9,250 a year, but for internationals, it's around £43,000 a year. If you're trying to get in, the application requirements mirror what is already out there for a lot of medical schools. For Bristol in particular, you need to be getting around sevens and eights in maths and English. And for A-level specifically, chemistry is, is the only required science, so you need to get an A in chemistry and two other subjects. With regards to the A-level requirements, you need to have chemistry compulsory as one of the subject options. And at least one of the other subjects has to be biology, physics or maths. And the requirement across that in terms of grades is three A's. And of course, the classic medical school admission test, the UK CAT is the, the main exam that Bristol uses and if you want to apply to Bristol they do have tend to have quite a high UCAT threshold which is around the top two deciles so do bear that in mind. With regards to work experience that is definitely strongly encouraged. It doesn't have to be in the clinical environment but they do strongly encourage that and it's really about the transferable skills. With regards to personal statements, Bristol actually do not read personal statements when it comes to including it in their admissions for medical school. So a lot of what they're basing for you to get to interview is down to your academic requirements as well as your UCAT score. And in terms of the interview itself, they have transferred over from being an in-person interview to a virtual MMI slash panel interview. We actually have done one of those videos um, on the channel where we went through what was a mock style online interview. So do have a watch of that as well. In terms of teaching style, Bristol has a really holistic approach to, to medicine in the sense that from the very beginning, as I mentioned, you'll be on the wards or in GP surgeries a lot of the time and you'll be learning from different environments. So I remember I had a session where you were actually learning on the bedside with a patient there and you can also learn from patients in the community by going and doing histories. So you're also spread around the southwest where you can have placements ranging from Swindon, Bath and for me in particular, I'll be in Yeovil, which is in Somerset. The core structure in Bristol is integrated where throughout your first year you also get clinical exposure but of two varying degrees where in your third year it's completely clinical and that follows on with your fourth and fifth year. At Bristol it's also one of the medical schools that gives you an option to intercalate so that happens in between your third and fourth year. I myself are currently intercalating at Imperial. In terms of a lot of the teaching style it's around the case-based learning so that's where you have a case where you follow on a certain body system and you cover a variety of lectures around this. 
At Bristol, as with other medical schools, you have the option of getting halls accommodation, which is where you're in an accommodation that's provided by Bristol University. Usually these are split across halls of residence in the city itself or in what they call Stoke Bishop, which is a very student friendly campus kind of accommodation where all the flats are near each other. Whereas in the city, you're probably immersed more into the city and you're, you're almost like a local there. So typically like most medical schools, after you have you know, university accommodation, you now go on to look for private accommodation where you find a group of friends and you can live and you can rent a house together. So I'd, I'd say the reasons why I chose Bristol was that it was actually quite similar to London, but it's a lot more of a different vibe. You know, London is very hustle bustle, very quick. And Bristol actually has the right mixture of being very busy, but also having those quiet spots that you can go to and enjoy what life is like as a student too. So that's Bristol in a nutshell. We have a whole playlist of videos over here, which will talk through a lot of the other medical schools that are in the UK. Thanks for watching and I hope you found that enjoyable. If you have any other questions about Bristol, do leave it for us in the comments down below.